At this point, I think we shouldn't be naive. I, I know that um, you know we're all sort of fingers crossed, and I heard Kumi and I do. You know, maybe miracles are possible. But honestly, I think part of what gets us into trouble is waiting for messiahs. Obama's not the messiah. Okay, Yay. he's not going to come in and save the day. Let's be grown-ups about it. Okay. Um, if there is a deal um, that is rammed through in the next couple of days, it's only because developing countries have had their arms twisted, been offered all kinds of ugly side deals, and the G77, which was off, with, 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 whose proposals were the closest to the science, and were certainly the ones based on social justice, had been, has been broken. Okay, and that is, and that's no victory. That is nothing to celebrate. No deal is better than a bad deal, because locking in emission targets to 2020, that as you know, Bill said to me yesterday, would in, forget two degrees, would increase temperatures to 3.9 degrees. No, that is no victory. What makes me hopeful here in Copenhagen um, is that I believe this summit will go down in history at the moment when environmentalism became a social justice issue. The voice of the South has spoken out. The pull of environmentalism has moved South. What can we do when our governments fail? What can social movements do? What can municipalities do? What can colleges and universities do? Not just to set their own recycling system or to lower their own carbon footprint, but to use their bought their purchasing power um, to exert real political pressure. This movement has multiplied in size and scope. It has a tremendous moral authority to it. The fact that the people, people are living the effects of our behavior, they are not the ones that contributed to it. All they bring to the table is moral authority. I mean, these negotiations are so bizarre. How can you call it a negotiation when a country comes to the table saying, I'm going to cease to exist, and it has absolutely nothing to do with anything that I am doing, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. And that's why I love Bill's framing, you know, that these countries need us to be their armies. And they really do. We're hearing some very moral voices coming from the global south. And I'm tired of US NGOs thinking their job is to speak on behalf of their government and yeah. fix their government's image. Yeah. Let's get out of our nationalist boxes and just look for who has the most principled position and stand with that's them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.